Hi boys and girls, welcome to your video on calculating circumference of a circle. What we're going to do is kind of talk about the different parts of the circle, and then we are going to dive into a little bit as to where I am right now. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to talk about is pi. Wait, no, no, not that kind of pi. The pi symbol, the pi that we use in math. So when we're going to start talking about circles, and this will apply over to when we talk about volume of cylinders, since it's a circle base, pi is a mathematical term that we often use in math. So pi is represented by a Greek letter, and this is the Greek letter that you'll often see in formulas. And that symbolizes the word pi, or the concept of pi which really dates back to the mid-18th century. And then we spell it as P-Pi. So what is Pi? We're going to be discussing Pi a little bit further on Pi Day, which we celebrate on March 14th. So Pi is what's called a mathematical constant. Pi is about 3.14. 1, 5, such and such. It's a number that goes on forever, but we often abbreviate it as 3.14. And we celebrate Pi Day, or at least people like me celebrate Pi Day on March, because it's the third month of the year, 14. So that's the day, March 14. But we use Pi to calculate circumference. And the formula for circumference is pi times the diameter, which you learned about in the previous video. Really what pi is, is if you measure the distance or circumference all the way around the circle, then divide it by the diameter, you'll get about 3.14. You can take any circle in the world, measure the distance around the circle, and divide it by the diameter or distance through the circle, and you'll get 3.14. So that's why we consider pi as a constant number. So again, circumference is the perimeter or distance around a circle. To calculate circumference, we're always going to use the formula circumference, or C, equals pi multiplied by the diameter. So in this case here, we're going to take pi times 10, because 10 is our diameter. So on a calculator, you'll often see the pi symbol, and you've probably wondered what it was if you haven't used it yet. But if you don't have the pi symbol, you can also use 3.14. 3.14 is, like I said, kind of rounding the number or simplifying the number. So in this case, let's take 10 times, you'll see the pi symbol here, pi, which is 3.14159265358979323846264338327955 going, which equals 31.4 millimeters. So again, you need your units there so we know the measurement. Let's look at another example. Okay, so again, circumference is pi times the diameter. So I'm going to take pi, or 3.14, in this case, times 3. So pi times 3 is equal to about 9.42. So 9.42 centimeters. Because the unit of measurement is centimeters. Now sometimes, uh-oh, we don't have the diameter or the distance across. And our formula is pi 
a time's diameter. But what we learned about in our previous video is to find diameter from radius, we multiply the radius by 2. So you could do 5. Oh, hold on. So I can do 5 plus 5, or 5 times 2, which is 10. So it's really important to pay close attention to if you're getting the, or if you're given the radius, or if you're given the diameter. And in our previous slide, 10 times pi is 31.4, in this case, centimeters. Now let's go back to this kind of object here where I'm located. This is what's called the London Eye, located in London. What is going on? So the London Eye is a huge circular Ferris wheel located in London. I was here my freshman year of college. And the distance or diameter across the London Eye is 394 feet. So the diameter of the London Eye is 394 feet. How did I know that? So the London Eye is 394 feet across. What we're going to do is calculate the circumference or distance around the London Eye. So let's take pi. Times 394, which equals 1,237 feet of circumference. So that means the distance all the way around the London Eye is 1,237 feet. All right, what I want you to do is visit your graphic organizer. We're going to calculate circumference from diameter and from radius. So if you're given a diameter, circumference is equal to pi times the diameter. C equals pi times the diameter. And I also have the word form here. Multiply the diameter by pi. So let's create a diameter of 6 centimeters. So let's multiply pi times 6. This is when your calculator is important. So pi times 6 is about 18.8 centimeters. Now, if you're given a radius, what you'll have to do is take pi times 2r, which is 2 times the radius, because the 2 times the radius is equal to the diameter. So let's create a radius of 4 meters. So what we're going to have to do is take 4 times 2 first which is 8, and then we can take pi times 8. So pi times 8 is equal to 25.1 meters. Okay, so this concludes your video on calculating circumference which again is the distance around a circle. We're going to be doing some hands-on activities in class to dive a little bit deeper into calculating circumference.
And then we'll also talk a little bit more about calculating pi from circumference and diameter. All right, this concludes your video, and have a great evening. And let's go.